get out of the wood yet. But we are in the right direction overall as a country. But all the ministers came and we said, we rang an alarm bell. We said, this is dangerous. Let's take it seriously. 
And on behalf of the people of Africa, I wish to express a profound and sincere gratitude to the government and people of Germany, and indeed the European Commission as a whole, for this gesture of fraternal solidarity. Now, this donation could not have been more timely. The global coronavirus pandemic is still raging and mutating, and the existential threat it has brought is far from receiving. The Africa CDC has, since the outbreak of this pandemic, been working closely with the government of Germany to fight and contain its spread in Africa under the leadership of Commissioner Amira El Farid El Fadil and our own indefatigable and brilliant Dr. John Henderson. The government of Germany, the European Commission, has supported the CDC with laboratory testing skills and medical supplies since the outbreak of this pandemic. These items have been evenly distributed to all the African Union member states. With the assistance of Ethiopia and the Ethiopian allies, your excellences, as of 6 October 2020, member states of our continent have reported more than 1.5 million confirmed cases 1.2 million recoveries and 36,000 deaths of COVID. Even though, as Africa, we have made some progress, the testing for COVID-19 will still lag behind in the scaling up of the testing due to various constraints. The major one will be the shortage of test kits and medical supplies. And that is why your intervention today is so deeply appreciated. Thank you very much. Currently, about 60 million tests have been carried out in Africa. But we have a population of 1.3 billion, and this renders it critical that our health institutions are equipped with the relevant medical supplies and equipment to scale up our testing in our communities. Your Excellencies, Africa and Europe have come a long way historically, and we are the closest geographical neighbors. Together, we should work together to develop this proximity into a strategic advantage. To this end, a lot has been achieved through working with the European Union, its member states, the development agencies such as the GIZ within the domain of strengthening our strategic partnership in governance, institutional development, capacity building, improving health systems, humanitarian affairs, peace and security, among several others. Within the African Union Commission, considerable progress has been made with the help of the European Union and member states in both technical and budgetary support to the Commission. We remain optimistic that our partnership with the government of Germany and the European Commission in fighting the COVID pandemic will achieve the desired results. I am reliably informed by the management of Africa CDC that the notion we are receiving today will be dispatched to all member states of the Union, as has been the case with earlier interventions and donations. So to conclude this meeting, I wish to once again render a sincere appreciation to the government, the people of Germany, the European Union, the European Commission, for this generous and timely donation. I wish to thank you once again for your time and your And it is my honor to invite His Excellency Yanis Lenachik, 
EU Commissioner for Crisis Management to make this map. Excellency. This is uh, the last EU humanitarian air bridge flight during its first phase, which started already in the beginning of May. We have brought with this flight an important equipment, medical equipment, half a million of test kits for COVID donated by Germany. Thank you, Germany, and the transport financed by the European Commission. As I said, this is the final flight of the initial phase of this humanitarian heritage that started five months ago and organized almost 70 flights to 20 countries all over the world, but the majority of them in Africa. And with these flights, we have transported more than 1,000 tons of medical equipment and other humanitarian supplies, and almost 2,000 humanitarian and other personnel. We have reached places that were most hard to reach, especially during the global lockdown due to the pandemic. This pandemic has uh, affected us all, it has taken many lives, more than one million globally. It has uh, affected our health, our economies, our social situations. And we believe that since this is a global phenomenon, we need to tackle it globally in solidarity. That's why we have devised as one of our measures this humanitarian air bridge that comes to its end of the first stage today. This humanitarian air bridge is part of a greater, wider global COVID response effort organized by the European Union. The European Union has so far, together with its member states, as a pure team Europe, mobilized more than 36 billion euro in order to deal with global response to the pandemic. And a large chunk of that is going and will go to Africa. Africa is our neighbor. Africa is our sister continent. Africa has managed relatively well this pandemic so far. But we should not get out of sight the fact that health systems in Africa are fragile that pandemic has enormous social and economic effects. And this is why I want to underline here again today, Africa can count on Europe. European Union will be your partner. We are in this together and we'll get out of this together. Thank you. It's a great pleasure to deliver this morning together with the Commissioner Denarji and our partners from Germany, 7.5 tons of COVID-19 kits for the African Center to resist control. This is an important expression of the European Union role in the fight against pandemic and how we do that with our partners from the African Union which lead to the end of the The coronavirus will affect the entire global community. It's a common enemy. It's an enemy we can only defeat together with a global approach and with cross-border coordination. A steaming putting together European member states and the European institutions 
institutions. We try to help to fight the pandemics since the beginning at home in Europe and abroad here in Africa. Solidarity and cooperation are the key words to win this battle. They are at the heart of our response. In this crisis, nobody will be safe until everybody is safe. That's why solidarity is not an empty word. And as far as the virus will not be eradicated, it will be a threat to all of us. And we will have to show common solidarity. I want to praise the Minister of the Night in this writing year of the humanitarian heritage. It has been a very useful tool to help and to show how we can. Here today, in Addis Ababa, in many other places. And this experience will continue as far as there are needs and resources, the TV group will continue working. And allow me to finish these words with an African word. We have learned that the African people say, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, then go together. That's what we want to do. We go together with our African friends in order to go farther and overcome this difficulty. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency, for those very warm remarks. Now we turn to the Thank you.